there around 752, what those noises sound like and what your immediate reaction was? I thought they were just fireworks right away. And then I saw like hundreds of people running. So me and my friends decided to jump the fences, run like over a hill and a bunch of grass and just hid there until we thought it was safe. And we got up and ran uh, to the water park. And then we saw the firemen telling us to go to the parking lot. So you were you were over at uh, Max Force, and then they you, you you found a place, you found a family that helped you kind of keep safe, and then they moved you moved yourself to the water park, and then the fire fire officials moved you guys out of the park and to the parking lot. Is that the order? Yeah. Okay. Charlie, how old are you? Thirteen. So how are you doing? How are you doing? And 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 I'm sorry. Are you were you with a friend, a brother? I didn't catch that. Yeah, I was with two of my friends. So you're all about 13 years old. How are you guys doing? That must have been really scary. Yeah, it was pretty scary, but we're home safe, so. Mm. We, uh, Charlie, hang with us here, and uh, Brian as well. We're getting our first aerial pictures coming into us from Chopper 2. You can see what that phalanx of squad cars looks like uh, from the air. Uh, you know, Brian, I'm guessing maybe you guys are on speakerphone, so if it's okay if we kind of pivot back and forth. Um, what part of the Chicagoland area do you folks live in? Uh, we're in Downers Grove. Downers Grove, so the western suburbs. Can you kind of put in perspective for me um, the parent of a, of a young teenager uh, and this summer that we're experiencing here in the Chicagoland area uh, at very high profile places, things that have always been, I'm sure, in your childhood like in mine, we didn't have to contend with these sorts of things in the frequency that we do now. Um, can you put it through your lens this evening for us? One refused treatment, Chris. That's right, declined treatment. Um, and that uh, two persons were taken to the hospital for evaluation. Okay. Um, oftentimes, you know, in, in in the parlance of, of police jargon that we deal with, we often hear about is someone in serious, in critical, or in stable condition. Right. This certainly seems as though it doesn't appear, you know, from the verbiage that they are using here, evaluation um, is probably something that is what you'd, you'd rather be than some of the other phrases that we use to describe folks who are taken to the hospital. So again, uh, to reset here, you know, People are shot, as we all know, far too often in our in our neck of the woods. But this is a location that is meriting of our coverage here because it is such a high profile uh, location. You have thousands of people there on a typical summer evening, and there were so many questions that continue to swirl. Uh, but I suppose the, the the bit of good news here is that the number of people shot, and the and from what we can tell from this early statement, um, that the the, the, the the severity of the injuries, uh, if one person is declining treatment and the other two are being taken for evaluation, um, obviously it is not the night that they expected to have, but it is thankfully not a higher number or any more devastating injury. Yeah, and I think another big question, of course, is those three people. Uh, first of all, were they targeted? Second of all, uh, if they were not targeted, were they just shot, you know, um, randomly? Were they random victims? Uh, what led up to this shooting? Um,